Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Welcome to whip number 104 and it is Friday, April 19th and this will be released on Saturday tomorrow. I've had a wonderful week. First of all, I'd like to welcome all our new, sorry, I'll get into my week in a moment. I'd like to welcome everybody, um, all my new subscribers and all my old friends that have uh, returned to watch my videos. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I really am doing this to share my love for crochet and starting to knit. Um, and I really, really am enjoying uh, putting out videos every month. It gives me something to look forward to and I get to share my uh, makes with everyone and I've made some wonderful friends along the way. So I just want to say thank you to everyone and I hope you're having a wonderful week. I had a great week. Uh, starting actually from last week, um, I had mentioned that I was going out to uh, lunch with some of my girlfriends. Well, it ended up being a surprise birthday lunch and there were more than just my bowling team there. There were eight of us and we had so much fun. It was a wonderful afternoon out. So uh, it was a, a big surprise because I had said to a couple of my girlfriends, oh, I don't want to do anything this year. I'm just not in the mood, but I'm really glad they did it and uh, very pleased that we all had a good time. And then the weekend was a very quiet weekend, so that was uh, good. Um, nothing exciting. I live a really uh, low-key, boring life, but I love my boring life. I do my crafts in the mornings and um, go out to lunch once in a while with my girlfriends. And this summer, uh, my baseball uh, team is going to be spectacular because my daughter picked uh, me on her team, so I'm really looking forward to that. So a little bit less crocheting in the summertime, a little bit more sports. But right now, I've been doing a lot of crocheting and knitting and um, working hard on some of my projects. I have uh, been diligently working on my book cover inspiration. It's um, twice as big as I normally make for a blanket, but it's going to be a gift for my grandson for his birthday. So uh, I've been working hard on that and I'm not even halfway uh, done. Usually I'm completed my uh, my project mid-month, but uh, this one's going to take me all month. So it might uh, take away from some of my other makes, but uh, I think it's worth it. He's going to love it. So my husband was out of town, so uh, I had the bed to myself. Well, not to myself. My cat, Phoenix, uh, decided that she uh, slept uh, right beside me and woke me up at 3, woke me up at 6. And I actually slept in till 7 yesterday, so I was really surprised about that. Uh, so he was gone. He uh, returned late last night, had a really good... Um, uh, meetings and everything out west and next week he's heading out east to Ottawa and Moncton I believe and uh, these are just the uh, first quarter meetings that uh, he's into but uh, yeah he's gone uh, next week for a bit and the following week so uh, a lot of uh, time for me to not cook which is awesome and um He's uh, enjoying his travels and meeting uh, a lot of people across the country. So I had my first baseball practice on Monday, and it wasn't sore Tuesday morning, but Wednesday, boy, oh boy, I could feel it in my arms where I was throwing a ball because I haven't done anything. I've been exercising in the mornings a little bit, but I uh, wasn't prepared for the stiffness and the soreness that I got from my first baseball practice. And it's been raining. We had the practice on Monday, and it's been raining all week here, so... Our, um, I'm looking outside and I think it's raining again. It's mid-morning here and um, spring showers, I guess. So uh, no baseball practice uh, last night and we're hoping to get one done on Monday this weekend. Let's say I'm heading to a wedding shower that I'm really looking forward to. I uh, haven't seen a lot of my girlfriends in a while and uh, one of my best uh, friends, her uh, son is getting married. So this is his fiance's uh, wedding shower that we're going to. So that's it. I'm actually, I don't even have to drive. One of my girlfriends from baseball will be driving me. So uh, hitching a ride with her and her daughter. My daughter can't make it this week uh, to the shower. And this girlfriend actually has a daughter who's getting married this year also. So she's got two weddings this year. And um, I can't believe that uh, she's not going crazy. They just got back from Florida. They spend their winters in Florida. So I'm looking forward to seeing her. And uh, she's, yeah, preparing for uh, two weddings. So that's a lot of work. 
Other than that, I don't believe we've got anything planned this weekend. Uh, like I said, live a very simple life. Uh, my husband and I, we go out for dinners once in a while. And um, usually Saturday nights we'll order in or, you know, go out somewhere for dinner. So that's it for my uh, socializing this week. And I start to get into my whips. I forgot to show you a finished item last week that I will show you this week but let's start with the whips i have started i'm going to just move my coffee because it's big and i don't want it to get knocked over from my diamond painting so i started a new diamond painting i actually got this one at michael's they were having a clearance and it was 50 percent off so i have done the whole bottom part of the sands here this is all covered in plastic still but uh it's very nice i don't know what i'm going to do with this one but um it passes the time in the morning because I'm an early riser usually. So that's my first whip and um, I'm enjoying it. But like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one because it doesn't go with anything that uh, we have anywhere. And I have been working on this painting for a couple weeks now. And it's very, I'm trying to move it back. There we go. So it's just a very, really pale uh, colored painting. And I think it's pretty, very, very pretty. So, um, colors are a little bit brighter. When I do finish it, I will take a picture so you'll be able to see it. Maybe if I move it up. No, it gets blown out. So, I'm working on that. And my computer has told me that I need to update. Every time I go to record, it tells me that I need to update, but I won't be updating till afterwards. So, that's my second uh, item that I've been working on in the mornings. And another item that I work on in the mornings is my knit socks. And I'm happy to say I finished the first sock. So pleased with it. Let me just get it out here. So, this is my first sock. Whoops. I've got some DPN sticking out of it. Haven't sewn in the ends or anything like that. But there is my first sock. Um, I don't have my sock blockers down here, but I will do it when I get the second one done. So there's the sock. I, um, I'm getting a little better. I'm My decreases are not the greatest, but uh, practice makes perfect. So that's the first sock. So I did finish it. So I had the whole toe to do. So that was quite a bit of uh, knitting. And then, um, oh, I was at the doctor's this week and I started the... Uh, let me get it where you can't see the yarn. I started the ribbing on the second sock. So I did get quite a bit done. I'm very pleased with that. But it's going to go on the back burner until I get my book cover inspiration done. Because I'm going to start in the mornings and work on it. I just, I'd rather have it done early than not get it done at all. So that's... Uh, the uh my socks and my granddaughter keeps asking me no no have you started my socks and i said no not yet i'm still working on your uh your dad's and uh my granddaughter's so funny she goes it's taking a long time you can make a blanket in a week i said i know but knitting is very slow and i've got these i got these bags at michael's on clearance and they're perfect for knitting knitting socks or smaller projects so i'm really liking these bags and i think i got them for 99 cents i'm a very bargain bargain shopper and I also last week decided I needed to start on uh, um, start on finishing my C to C knit blanket, and the pattern is from Scuffle Bean Yarns, and it's a corner to corner knit blanket. And I am pleased to say that I have started decreasing on one side to turn it into a rectangle. So I've got the width. I'm trying to untangle everything here. So that's the blanket there. Don't want to lose any stitches because not very good at picking them up again. So it's going to be about 36 to 40 inches. I'm not sure once it gets off the hook, off the needles, uh, how wide it's going to be. But I've started decreasing on one side. Let me see which side. Right here, actually, you can see how it's kind of turned the corner here. So it comes up and then it's turning the corner. So I'm making it uh, a little longer. I'd like to get another 10 inches or so. I'd like to maybe even 20 inches. I'd like to make it about 60 inches long so it can cover me from my neck all the way down to my feet while we're watching TV in the wintertime. But I'm using uh, Puzzle Yarn. And it's a beautiful yarn. I've still got two more skeins. So this is actually my second skein only so knitting doesn't take as much 
And let me see the color. This is cryptic. So I just love it. This puzzle yarn is, it's a, I believe they call it a bulky five, but I just think it's a, a thick four. So I worked on that and let me show you how much I actually got done. I was so pleased. So this is probably like five hours of work. I was down here and I got how many inches? Four inches done. So I was very pleased with that. I'm going to move the stitch marker up. Don't think this will get any loving this week. I'd Like I said, I'd like to finish my book cover. Inspiration project. There we go. So it's moved up. And we'll see next time. I won't pull this out every time. But we'll see next time. Let me get my needles so it doesn't fall off. Just try and get them in like that. And stuff it back in the bag. So that is, and I just got it in a bag. And um, by my uh, side of the couch, I've got my, uh, my rolling uh, basket. And I hang all the bags off the side of it, and it's getting so full. I have to slow down on some of my whips and complete them before I start anything else. But I see a project. Like in the mornings, I'll look on uh, Ravelry or some of my emails that come in. I find this great pattern. I go, I'm going to start it. So I'm starting to get quite a few whips. And I also, last week, this week, worked on my um, mom's inspiration memory blanket. My mom's memory blanket, not inspiration. But uh, I had finished putting on all the squares that I had made, mostly in the hospital when mom was really, really sick. So this week I made a lot of squares. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20, 22 colored squares. And I like doing the colors because I like the way they, uh, they turn out. Some of them are really beautiful. So um, it's just uh, three rounds of fingering weight yarn. And uh, it's all in wool, so I really like it. So I got some plain wool, and I'm making plain squares. But I always leave these to last because I find them not boring, but, you know. So I got a few of these done. So I have to probably make another 30 of these, and then we'll see where we're at with that. I'm not sure how big I'm going to go. I'm just adding them higgly-piggly wherever I want with a cream colored between every colored square. So got quite a few of these done. So I've got lots and lots of fingering yarn left. I don't know how big it's going to grow, but I'm really enjoying doing that. And I also have that in one of these uh, Am uh, Amazon Michael's bags. And let's see what else. I, uh, I think I showed you last week. I started a scarf. Um, they call it a scarf or a, um, a wrap. And I thought that was really pretty, and I decided to do it in fingering weight, which takes forever. And I'm using some merino wool that was in a grab bag from Judy, I believe, one of her mystery boxes. And I love the way the colors are turning out. That's the way the end is looking. It's getting blown out, of course. And it definitely will need blocking, but uh, so it just um, starts off with uh, 368 chains, I believe. So it's quite a long, long scarf. There you go. And I'm gonna, I'll pull it in close, but uh, you won't be able to see the colors, but the pattern is so beautiful on it. So that's what I'm working on. And this takes quite a while just to get through each row, but each row... Um, shrinks by one of the, I'm going to say shell stitches. So I really like it. And like once it gets blocked, it's going to be just beautiful. So it's got some nice pointy ends on it and I'm really liking it. And my colors are blue, my favorite color. So that's um, how it's going to be when it's done. So I can't wait to block it. It's just beautiful. So I've done quite a bit on it. It's probably 20 rows right there, but like I said, once it's blocked, it's going to grow almost double the size in width. So I've been working on that a little bit. I just pick it up every once in a while 
you know, when I've got 10, 15 minutes, you know, when I'm preparing dinner or waiting for something, I'll pick this up. So I'm working on this scarf and I really do like it. I can't wait to uh, get a little bit uh, more done on it. And I am using a 2.75 uh, millimeter crochet hook on this pattern. And this pattern uh, is called, I'm just looking down here, sorry. It's Summer Sprigs Lace Scarf. And the website is Make My Day Creative. So I will link everything below that I mentioned today. So I've just got this in a little bag with cherries on it. It's actually a Bed Bath & Beyond bag, but they work perfect for little, jo little jobs. And those are my whips that I worked on this week. I uh, tried and do a little bit of every whip, and depending on how I feel. But um, I know I'll be doing a lot on my other project that you'll be seeing at the end of the month. So I have my painting for a finished item. I had started this a long time ago, and I have never seen such small, small places to paint. So that's it there it turned out lovely the colors are spectacular it's beautiful autumn uh scene the red barn and the bench there and i really enjoyed doing it but i get to a certain point i just want to finish it and um, i did have this finished last week but i forgot to show it and someone was asking me like you know what kind of paint brushes i use and everything just got an extra set here i'm going to grab they come like this, and you get a wider one for the bigger squares, and then two of the uh, smaller, so they are quite small. There you go. There is a glare. So uh, it comes with everything you need, and um, it is oil paint, but uh, sometimes it's very thick, so I thin it down with some water, and I have no problems. I clean these right away while they're still wet with water, and I've never had any problems with any of the brushes. And I have got a glass full, and you know, after a while, they uh, they wear out or they start to curl, but uh, I've got lots and lots of brushes to work from. So that was my first finished item. My second finished item is from uh, Manic Mama Musing. I got it right this time, Neva. And uh, she is doing an album cover inspiration. And it's been so much fun for me. She puts out an album cover every week. And I'll put it up here. I can't remember. Something RM. I can't remember. I don't have the picture in front of me. So uh, this is my square. Let me get it the right way. There we go. So this is my square right here. And I love this pattern. And this pattern is from uh, Siren, Siren's Crochet. And I will link the uh, channel and the tutorial below. It's such a pretty square. It's got some, uh, some puff stitches and some four together. And double crochet, half double crochet, window gaps. So that's my square. And this is going to go great with uh, some of the other neutral squares. Like I said, I've already done a couple blankets. Uh, one I showed last week. And oh, the colors are perfect right there. So um, I like the way this turned out. And this will go great with my, I've got two or three other uh, more neutral earthy uh, tone squares so I've been making wheelchair lap bands with them it's about 10 inches wide nine and a half so I put um, I'll seam them together put a small border on it and it's perfect for my wheelchair lap bands that I'm making so that's the square really like it turned out really well see I would never put gray and um, it's like a pumpkin rust color I would never put that together but uh, you see it in the uh, picture and uh, it looks good so and I've used it's like an off white and then a white and mustard and the rest color and then a light gray. So really pleased with how the squares are turning out. And like I said, the pattern is beautiful, very easy to follow. I've got so much yarn fluff all over me. And then my final finished auto, um, project is my marquee blanket. I showed you I had all the squares done last week, so I uh, connected it all. And... Um, I used, let me see, 
but I have it in a clear bag here. And this was bright yellow from Red Heart. And it's just a Red Heart bright yellow. And I used, this is not Pound of Love. What was it? A Lion Brand uh, with Love. And the color was Geod. And it's, uh, it's a much more purpley color than it's showing up. Oh, I can't get the color. Purples and blues are very difficult to get on the cameras. And then the last color was Spa from Craftsmart, which is uh, Michael's old brand. Now it's um, Loops and Thread, but uh, this is in Spa. And it's a little darker than it is showing. And I just made some squares with this and joined it with the continuous join. And then for the border, I just did, um, what did I do? Crochet, cro uh, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And I finished it off with just a single all the way around to make it 30 inches wide. So that's the uh, blanket right there. So another, oh, there we go. That looks pretty good, the colors there. So another wheelchair, Lapgan. And um still waiting to hear from my daughter's girlfriend. And it's not my daughter's girlfriend. It's my daughter. She's busy at work. And I don't know when we'll be able to get together. So I may just go up there myself to the uh, hospital. There's um a section where the seniors are waiting to go into a home, but they don't have placement yet. So they're actually staying at the hospital. And she's, uh my daughter's friend is the nurse in charge of uh all uh, the people waiting. So one day I will go up there with or without Amanda and my granddaughter and give these people a little bit of comfort and love before they head to their next destination. So I will uh, talk to my daughter, but like I said, she's very busy. I know she's going to England to the head office next month. So I don't know when that's going to happen, but I have all the blankets. I'm ready for uh, whenever uh, is possible for the two girls and me to get together. So that is it this week. I um, Like I said, I've been working a lot on my book cover inspiration. It's, uh, it's going to be huge. I think it's going to be like 60 by 80. So it's going to be a big blank that I'm trying to get done. And um, it's very hard with the kitty cat. My cat loves yarn. Like she's got her own yarn balls that my husband throws and she fetches it and brings it back to him. And then he throws it and she fetches it and brings it back. And they can do that for hours. But when I'm working on a, um, a C2C with um, many colors, they're all sitting beside me on the couch. And the cat just pounces every time I pull a yarn out. And at, right now, I think I've got five colors all attached to the project and trying to keep them straight and everything. It's hard. So I try and get it done while she's napping. Like, I'll see where she is. And it's so funny, a kitty cat we have to worry about. Um, so I can get my uh, my uh, C2C blanket done. And um, hopefully she will have a nap this afternoon. This afternoon, I'm going to get a knee brace for my knee. Not because it's hurt. It was sore after my baseball practice, but uh, I just like the extra support so it doesn't jiggle side to side and um, cause me pain. So I'll head out, get that done. And oh, another thing I remembered, I yes, I did go to my doctor regarding my gallbladder and we sat and we discussed it and he explained everything to me and how simple the procedure is. And he said to me, are you ready for surgery? And I said, well, I don't know. I said, because I've been feeling good and like the pain will come every once in a while. Not like it was the one week where it was there for a solid week of pain. Like right here, I thought I was having a heart attack, but it's just the gallbladder and the stones. And he said, okay. He gave me his business card and he goes, call me when you're ready for surgery. So right now we're just going to wait and see. Hopefully uh, the pain doesn't come back severe. Like I said, it's happening once a week, maybe where I'm getting this pain, but it's only lasting for a few minutes. So I can live with that instead of having surgery. But um, if it starts up again the way it was, then I will definitely give them a call and head into surgery. So right now we're not going to worry about surgery. I'll just uh, live with a tiny little bit of uncomfortableness. I don't even know if that's a word, but uh, 
that's when I got my knitting done. And he was such a great doctor. I know he was a surgeon when my mom was in the hospital when they had to repair her bowel, I believe. So really nice doctor. And when I'm ready, I'll call him, but I'm not ready yet. So that's it. I don't think I have anything else exciting. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to go get the knee brace, do a little bit of grocery shopping and uh, come home and crochet. And hopefully the cat will not bother me too much and I'll be able to pick up my, uh, my book cover inspiration blanket I'm making. So on that note, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Get your whips done and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.